out at RecRoomMasters.com. And I think that's really cool because you can do things like you, those old Xbox 360s on their way out, that old PS3 on its way out. You can put them in there, and you can play all your old your old fighting games that haven't come to the next gen yet in the comfort of your own home. And I think I'm an arcade player, so I love that kind of stuff. Yep. So, so let's get hype, guys. We are going into Grand Finals. Kazunoko from Japan versus Elven Shadow from the U.S. Get hype, guys. Come on, know, tweet man. it out. Let everybody know. We are going into Grand Finals. And this is a three out of five set. Um, Elven Shadow does have to win two three out of five sets. And Kazunoko, I guarantee you, is going to try his damn just to make sure that does not happen. And these, these, these players are no strangers. They know how each other play. They know the matchup. All right, some pretty good items so far for Elven Shadow. Kazunoko easily getting away from that bomb, and uh-oh, a bad burst from Elven Shadow completely whiffs. We were just talking about this. That burst bar is completely empty. But wow, Elven Shadow, look at that. All, the, all that work, and he has not received one iota of burst. Okay, now he's getting burst back. So I think what it is is if you do an empty burst, there's a delay. Before there's you start delay, building yeah, it back. Before you start building it back. Again. Maybe, yeah. But Elven Shadow, yeah, he was pressuring really heavily, and Kazunoko, I think, realized that, went with the Volcanic Viper on Wake Up. Nice counter hit sweep, but OTG's him with the uh, Bandit Revolver, so it doesn't really get any mix up. Kazunoko getting pretty low here. Nice, stuffs the Fafnir. And Elven Shadow, great read, felt the wild throw coming, gets over it, and punishes it with yep. Jump 2K. Man, Jump 2K is saving lives right now, yo. Right, nice pressure, goes for the raw sweep, and that's exactly what he wants to go for. He needs that hard knockdown. Him taking it after a sweep is not what Soul wants. Soul wants you to be on the ground so he can do pressure. Exactly, like this. Gets him with the meaty gun flame, Yo. and there we go. Sets up a wild throw. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, we have some we have oh. some matchup knowledge. I don't know if you guys know this, but that was definitely like the old school Daigo dust loop. Yep. Like, that was legit right there. So if you didn't catch that, he jumped and did a cross-up jump dust and then jump canceled it back towards the corner for a second jump dust and then did a falling jump dust. Yo, that was so sick. That was so sick. The crowd loved it too. So one round apiece in this first game. Oh my god, lifts up the briefcase. You see that? Oh my god. And a great reaction. We saw Doran do something similar with Elfelt's close slash. Kazunoko wow. reacted to the jump. Oh no, and another bad burst. That six feet anti-air. Oh my god. Yo, oh, he's dead. Flips. He's, he's dead, dead. Right? yeah. Th that was insane. Two counter hits in a row. Kazunoko is on point right now, and if he can keep this momentum up, this is going to be a real quick set. I'm, I'm thinking he's still mad about that Doran wake up super. That's yeah. what he's, he is holding that one. He's yeah. like, I can't believe he woke up and hit me with a wedding cake. That's what he did. But yeah, Kazunoko just uh, perfect timing there on those on those pressure in the, you know on that on that pressure in the corner. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. All right, taking his time at the beginning, gets the cross up jump slash on the air dash, and again a bomb first item. Oh wow. by Kazunoko. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, and he baits the burst. Doesn't I don't I don't think he wanted that wild throw, but. He definitely was trying to bait that burst. Yo, this is this is pain right here. Oh my god. He, if he, yeah. Yeah, Dizzy. A terrible round for Elvin Shadow. He is he's in trouble. He is really mad about that wedding cake. He is not letting that go. He's like, you tell your boy to hit me with that wedding cake. This is what I want to do now. If, if things go real bad at the beginning of this round for Elvin Shadow, he's not even going to get a burst back. Yeah. All right, Airborne Fafnir, not going to get a combo, but uh-oh, the reset into the Gunflame. And this is what I was talking about. Look at the damage. This is an unscaled combo because it started off a Gunflame. He might not get burst back. Good block on the empty jump low. That was crucial. Nice. Oh. Okay, counter hit scalpel pull. Nice, and the burst baited. Oh, the, get two, or the air 2K gets in that combo. Elven Shadow returning the favor here. Oh, nice. nice. Times the grab perfectly. And he is right back in this. Oh, get over here. And he just built his burst back, so things turning around for Elven Shadow. Not out yet. I feel like this, he needs to win this game. Yeah. You can't let him go too in on a set that you have to reset. All right, YRC, good block. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gotta, got a burst. He's got to be careful. He, he can't run through the oil. <laughs> yeah, he actually didn't have to burst. He, Did he, he know? He's he's trying to win this round with the burst. Might be a little bit of a risk, but 
Oh. Yo, he ran through it, ran through it. Just look at that explosion in the background. Look at that. Is this a Michael Bay film? I know, I was just about to say. <laughs> But that was so smart by Kazunoko, not only running under it and recognizing that he could get past it, it was also extremely smart because if you notice, right before the air grab, Elvin Shadow was faultlessing. He thought that Kazunoko was going to run up and do like standing kick yeah. anti-air or, or 2H anti-air, and he was trying to faultless in the air to block it, and Kazunoko was one step ahead once again and just went for the air grab. Well, you have to you have to remember, him doing um, 2K faultless defense in the air is actually really bad for someone because you're low enough and it gives them more time to air throw you. So right. even if you still have to be able to throw out an attack from that faultless defense. So he basically just gave him that air throw. Yep. Oh man, and not blocking the meaty gun flame. Well, luckily Kazunoko drops the combo and with the neutral text, Elvin Shadow getting a little bit of a combo of his own. All right, a couple of mini fouls there working together. No burst by Elvin Shadow, there it is. Another mini fouls coming, but he's gonna be too far away to really be a factor here. All right, getting some damage OTG. Yeah, nice. Now, normally against a lot of characters, that's a tricky setup where you do you do the jump TK kind of high, and you still have the option to cancel into going my way very late. And a lot of characters will try to punish and get counter hit by the going my way. Soul does not have to deal with that. You yeah. can just block the <laughs> volcanic viper, and you're stuck. You can't do anything except for cancel into going my way. It's guaranteed. Oh, uh, that's another change in 1.1. The animation for that uh, command throw always comes out. So. Yep. All right, blocks the Fafnir, trying to get out of this corner. See, and there again, again Fallacing yeah. on the way down, and Kazunoko one step ahead, goes for the air grab. Kazunoko is on tournament point right now. Elven Shadow's got to do something here. He's got to get out of this corner. He's in trouble. All this fire. I think he was a little scared of Gunflame there because the oil yeah. was a little close. He's got burst. He's got to be careful. Oh! off in the background he just blew your back out with fire i've never seen a tournament end on a better note than that we were both speechless for a second <laughs> that was insane i was just about to say he's got to be careful how he bursts kazunoka knew the Dude. exact moment he was gonna burst and punish it in the most extravagant way Yo, possible when i tell you when i saw soul cock back and cross his arms like you know what's about to happen don't you like <laughs> He cocks back and he's like, yo, I'm about to blow him up. Like That was incredible. What an amazing way to end the tournament. Why would you do this before Evo? Why would you do that? I'm wow. so mad. If Evo is like that, I'm running out of the building. I swear to God. All right, that's it, guys. We're wrapping up the stream. Thanks for All right. watching. Thanks for coming to CEO, it everybody. It can't get better than that. We're shutting everything down. That was unbelievable. Yo, that arm cross. Spooky. That arm cross. He was like, oh, you going to burst, huh? Watch this. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as we did. That was insane. Oh my god. That was so cool. I owe Kazunoko a handshake as well. Because that was godlike. That was so sick. And, and of course, you know, we're, we're hung up on this instant kill, but we got to give a shout out to all the players in Top 8. Yeah. They put on a great show yeah. for us. So shout out to all of them. You know, shout out to Elvin Shadow who got second. Just amazing. Amazing every play. Set, every set today was really good. I learned something new from every set that was played. And the fact of the matter is like this tournament I'm I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna play. It was definitely a lot better than I anticipated. Like the competition, the variety that we had in players where they came from, it was so good, man. I can't Jabaley, good job. Good job, Jabaley. I, I will give you that one. Yeah, the, these brackets were stacked. There's a ton of players that did not even make it out of pools that you don't even realize were here. Yeah, that's some true. some some you know legendary guilty gear players, just yeah. some incredible players that the pools were just that stacked. They were just killers the, all over the place. These pools here, man, they were they were really, really, they were tough, dude. Jam was here. Nerd Josh was here. Yeah, Nerd you know Josh would I mean? make it and out, yeah. It's, it's just so many people. And it was a lot of new players that I met, like Nick's. That guy, Sam, was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, Both Bedman players, just wow. It was just really good, you know. So I'm... Congratulations to all the competitors and all our top places was really good. I'm mad jealous that I'm not up there with them, but me it too. was still me being able to see them play was ridiculous. I'm really proud of those guys. And I, I'm I'm so hyped right now because you gotta put it into perspective. This is just a taste of what is yet to come. We're, in two we're weeks. a few weeks from Evo. Yep. And so this is the level of competition that we have. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this, you got a lot more in store in the upcoming weeks because Evo is going to be insane. There's tons and tons of international players coming. The level of play is going to be off the charts. The matches are going to be insane. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, this uh, 
this appetizer, if you will. Yeah. You know, not not to not to belittle a CEO. This is a huge tournament, and this is a great tournament every year. But you know, it, nothing really holds a candle to Evo. Yeah. Evo is just. I mean, and, and just like you said, man, we're at, what two, three weeks away from Evo right yeah. now, and these guys have tremendous steam going into that. You know what I mean? And regardless, like I'm real proud of these guys, just learning and seeing how much they've developed since the games. You know, inception. Like it's it's ridiculous, and everybody's going up with making tremendous strides in making Guilty Gear that much stronger of a scene and a game. So, like I said, I did learn a lot. Look at the look at the variety of the locations that we have here. We got California, we got Chicago, but we got Alabama, you know what I mean? We got we got Florida, like, come on, man. It was so many people. It was such a variety. It was really good. I agree. Yeah, I think I think the overall level of play for the US and Guilty Gear is just at its absolute peak, I think I think the level of play right now has never been higher, and I think we have a very good chance of really, you know, pulling some upsets at Evo over some of the international players who, yeah. you know, in the past, in some of the older tournaments, you know, 10 years ago, some of the really old Evos reload and slash, you know, the, the Americans just, we, we, we weren't really on the same level. You know, we had a couple of players that, you know, could put up some good competition, but I think it's fair to say the overall level of play was just, just not on the same level. So... I think uh, this year, I think it's going to be different. I think uh, you're going to see a lot of upsets, and I think the American yeah, players have really, really stepped it up. Thank you for coming. Give yeah. it up to Kazunoku. Kazunoku, of course, our first place winner for Guilty Gear XR at, at CEO yep, 2015. The, the, the first belt, or I guess not the first belt, because the Persona belt was given out last also night, but the first belt of the Gaga, day given out. Look at that, that gold nice CEO belt. Kazunoku, a big smile on his face. He loves wall. it. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Oh, that's sick. Oh, awesome. Awesome. This is your Guilty Gear. Six out of top. So there eight. he is, Kazunoko, taking first place at CEO 2015 in Guilty Gear. And that, wow. I'm, like I said, I'm seriously floored. I'm still kind of, my yeah, blood's still pumping from that insta kill. I'm <laughs> that, that was incredible. Incredible. I'm, I'm going to be thinking about that for the rest of the day. I'm going to drive home. I'm going to be driving back to <laughs> South Florida. I'm going to be thinking about that instant kill. Right. But, well, Who's regardless, guys, we're about to sign instinct. off. Killer Instinct is up next, and I believe it's top 16, maybe top 8. But regardless, top okay, 8, yeah. We got top 8 coming up. Thanks for chilling with us today, guys, and I'll see you guys later. All right, what is up, guys? This is Spooky. We're going to be starting with Killer Instinct shortly, so I'm going to go get a set up on the stage, and I'll come back to talk to all of you in just a minute. Thanks, everyone. Today is subscriber-only Sundays, by the way. Thank you to everyone who subbed, including all our new subscribers. Please enjoy. Talk to you guys in just a moment.